Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Clements and welcome back to another video here on Glass Hand. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to be teaching you something. Instead, we're going to be reacting to this Unreal Engine 5 feature highlights. Um, this is next gen real time demonstration that's running on PlayStation 5 hardware. Um, and for those of you who um, haven't seen the channel or haven't seen some of the videos, what we do here is uh, we make graphics for a living. And most of the people who watch this channel are professionals who um, I'm sharing knowledge, they're sharing knowledge with me. And so it's just like a little community type of channel. And I don't frequently upload just because I do have a day job. Um, so if you are just landing here that, and you're not a graphics professional, first of all, welcome. And I'm gonna be speaking in terms of what this means for me, for someone who is rendering offline, who's using offline renderers, and who is actively right now for the probably about the past two years been taking advantage of uh, real-time hardware, real-time software like Unreal Engine to make more interactive demonstrations, more product examples, things like that for clients. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to watch this video um, with the volume down low. And so this, like we said, has been captured on PlayStation 5 hardware. And immediately it's just like an amazing slow moving cinematic shots here of interior uh, globe illumination and sun casting onto this nanite technology, which is brand new in Unreal Engine. So why this is such a big game changer for everyone in the industry is they are now saying that you no longer have to optimize geometry for game engines, which is huge. Um, as you can see here, this may not mean anything to people who don't create graphics and imagery for a living but for us this is showing sub pixel triangles um, so small that it looks like noise but each color is a triangle on the screen as you can see here there's some larger triangles in this area and that are kind of elongated but the tiny ones you don't even see because this is basically like it says billions of triangles which is kind of hard to wrap your mind around but what this means is we no longer have to fake tessellation on objects anymore. As you can see with this amazing statue that literally has came out of an application like ZBrush, which is a, um, a digital sculpting software. So you're working with hundreds, millions of triangles sculpting this. And what we would do for game engines, we would take it, we'd make it more simplified, and then we would add textures to it to give it the illusion that it has more geometry than it actually does. But you can see every tiny little detail is like you actually sculpted it in your hands. And, you, and this is something that you would like print or see. Or, um, it's, it's crazy that we can do this like real time digitally. And you can see like a closer shot to prove that there's no normal maps. That this is, this is no trickery of like shadows and, and rendering and, and rasterization. This is real uh, geometry. So then we have the Lumen engine, which I am super excited for. I think this is so crazy. I mean, we're taking um, old school shadow maps and lights and all these things that we've known for years and years, and we're actually having fully dynamic bounce lighting. So we have the direct light from the sun and indirect illumination bouncing off the surfaces in a very believable, realistic way. So all of this is on runtime. There's no static lighting. There's no baked lighting. And what that means is the artists, as soon as they drop an, a light into their Unreal Engine scenes, they immediately see the effects of that light. You don't have to actually cook all this stuff or do any ray tracing um, and do an offline computation that is then applied as a texture map. No, everything is, is reacting to one another. So you can see here with the Niagara simulation, which Niagara is amazing. Um, We'll get to that in a moment, but the light is actually telling the particles what to do. So you have a real movable light that's doing indirect illumination that's also telling the bugs to scatter or to kind of like make themselves scarce. So you're you're kind of using that as like a field to drive particle simulations, which is amazing. Um, and then we have the bats flocking too. And the thing about the bats um, that I think is really amazing, uh, something that you would see in more of a DCC application, you know, in the in the past, what you would do is probably do a, a particle simulation um, that kind of takes this environment and you're adding some more logic to those particles, right? So you want them to know about each other. You want it to know where the actual location of these rocks are, but you're doing that all within the engine as you're sculpting, as you're making this happen. So 
um, Niagara has uh, some incredible, incredible power to it. Um, also, like the animation <laughs> that's happening here, is, since there's so many triangles in these scenes and there's so much detail, um, you can't necessarily um, try to try to do this in like a DCC and and try to make the animations work. It's just it's happening like on the fly. She's able to find um, the IK handles are able to find where the geometry is is coming out and actually grab and put their foot there, which is it's it's just amazing. Um, so with something that has this many triangles and has this much detail, um, like Unreal Engine has said in the release notes and, and the talks about this, you have to have a fully dynamic animation system that can take advantage of all of that. And it's just, it's just absolutely amazing. And then, uh, I don't, I don't think it actually shows a lot here, but there, there is like a whole rigid body simulation that happens with some of these large assets with, with chaos, the new physics engine. Um, inside of this demo and the the thing that's really cool about this is the statue that we've seen before that has um, hundreds of millions of polygons they have like a hundred of those statues in this room so you're up to like hundreds of billions of polygons at this point and it's all being able to be streamed with 8k textures and virtual texturing and it's just absolutely mind-blowing um, this demonstration and it, and it speaks a lot to us as graphics professionals and someone who is making uh, all of these images for clients and, and, and again, trying to teach everyone in this community what I'm trying to do. This is, this is just insane. Um, I'm actually at a loss for words. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Let me know if you want to be a graphics professional and what videos I can do to help you on your journey. So thanks a lot, guys, and take care.